Welcome into another YouTube tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can build this UI screen, which kind of looks like a CSGO by menu over in Unity. So this is completely done in Unity. As we can see, here is our hierarchy. We got all the buttons. We got the background image, which we can delete if we want to. Obviously, it just makes it a little bit easier to look at. And everything is working basically fine. So let's begin the video. What we have so far is a very simple canvas with nothing inside it. And I've set it to scale with screen size. So you can give any reference resolution in here. I just give it 1920 by 1080 because I think it's kind of standard. So let's go back into Photoshop and let's see how we can make this. I've been testing it out and I've tried to export each and every one of them just like this, but it would not work. So the way we are going to do that is by just exporting one of these and for reference we're going to do this one and instead of just going in file export just like this what we're going to do is disable the background and before we do that we're going to take this we're going to scale it up to the maximum and we're going to make sure that it snaps to the left edge so then after we snap it just going to increase the size of it until it is fully after we do that we're going to take this tool right here and then we are going to adjust the ratio until it snaps in here. So then just hit OK and there we go. We have our shape. Before exporting it, make sure you have no background so it's a transparent. And then make sure that you export it as a PNG. So I've already done that in here in my scene right here. And what I'll do is before I do all of that, I'm just going to export this object like this and the reason for that is because I want to reference this position right here over to unity you know the drill you're just gonna import a new asset this one and then we're gonna make sure that the texture type is set to sprite 2d and then we are absolutely not gonna forget to check read and write is enabled so we're gonna do the same process for this and we're gonna do the same process for this one as well so sprite 2d and make sure that read and write is enabled so now we're done with the importing what we're going to do is go over to our canvas create a new ui image and for now just going to define like 900 by 900 make sure it's a square and then what i'll do is i'll just drag this and drop it into here so now i got this reference canvas after we do that, what we're going to do is define a anchor point. So to do that, just create a empty game object right there. Now we have a anchor point that is dead center right here. I'll just define the width and height by one so it's easier to work with. And then inside of this, I'm just going to create a new UI. And this time we are going to do button. So now we have a button. I'm just going to delete the text because I don't need it. And the button will, of course, be the exact same width and the exact same height. After we do that, we're just going to drag this and drop it inside. Now we have our reference. So now what's left for us to do is to just go ahead and position this to where it's supposed to be. Okay, after you position it where you want it, what I'll do is I'll just go into my background and make it slightly transparent. And... Now what we have is a perfectly centered piece right here. So here's where the magic happens. What we can do now is just take this because we have defined a anchor point at position zero right here. So now that we did that, what we're going to do is just duplicate this and then holding control, we are just going to rotate it for 45 degrees. So now we have a perfectly aligned button. So you might have guessed what we're going to do next is we're just going to duplicate that. Okay, here is what we have so far. We have a perfectly centered menu. So now we can just go ahead and disable the background. Just create a new background just so we have a reference to look at. Make sure that this is on top because the sorting goes from the bottom over to the top. And then I'll just do something like this. Okay, here it is. Now we have these buttons. So what I'll do now is just I'll hit play and let's see what we have so far. So as we can see, these are kind of working, but uh, 
if I click over here, this one is getting enabled. So that is obviously not what we want, but in theory, this is actually working. So now let's fix the hitboxes. So how can we fix the hitboxes? Well, unfortunately, Unity just decided to make our life just a little bit more difficult and it decided to not show a option in here that allows us to change the hitbox. Instead, we are forced to use a script right here. So the script just contains two lines. So just select all of your buttons like this and then drag your script, drop them inside your buttons right here. So what this what the script has inside it is basically the simplest script ever. And what it does is it uses a image and then it set this alpha hit test minimum threshold into a threshold that you give it. So what you can do in here is set this into start. So you can just delete the fixed update. And then what you can do is hard code this to 0.5 because 0.5 always works fine for me. So this is the whole entire code. Don't forget to use this import right here. And this should make everything work. So now if I go back into my scene and then I'll just make sure that these buttons are a little bit easier to look. Okay, so now what we got is a perfectly fine working UI screen. As we can see in here, we can hover over basically anywhere and it works like a charm. So that is all I wanted to show you in this video. I know it kind of looks like very simple, but believe me, it's not. And uh, you can find these down in the video description down below if you want to download it for yourself. And I'll see you in the next video.